Good morning from Mataram, Indonesia. I'm on Lombok Island. The last two days I've been in Sengigi and I haven't been doing much of anything. It's a pretty quiet place. So today I was craving adventure. And for me, adventure means eating. So we are here in Mataram and we're going to eat as much traditional Lombok food as we can. This place is beautiful. It's a green city, amazing architecture, very clean. And I've heard it has fantastic food. So we're here to try as much as we can in one day. Now that's an adventure. traditional Lombok foods is bebelung. Bebelung literally means rib or bone in the Sasak language, the clan from Lombok. And it is a dish that is found at a lot of uh, festivals, special events, but you can also have it here at Bebelung Depot. So Bebelung reminds me a little bit of Tong Seng in central Java in that it is a rib soup. This dish takes two days to make. The first day, they boil the ribs and then they boil it again with all of these spices. So in this you will have ginger, garlic, tamarind leaves. And Lombok food tends to be very spicy, also a little bit smoky, a little bit sweet. And that is because of this. So this is the Lombok sambal. Now you're going to have fermented shrimp in this and along with it you'll have the tomato and this Lombok chili, which is a long red chili. Everything here is much spicier than I am accustomed to. Whew. Yeah. It's spicy. Now, as a foreigner, what my instinct is, is to actually take the rice and pour it into the soup. And then you get this ribby, ricey soup. That is a rookie move. Because what will happen is all of this rice gets overcooked, it gets mushy. Instead, you do the opposite. So what you're going to do is you put the ribs and a little bit of this broth. And then when you try it, if it's not spicy enough for you, you can also add more of the sambal. And if it's not sweet enough, we have this, which is ketchup manis, which is just like a sweet soy sauce that's a little bit uh, sticky. Add some of that. And then let's try this rib. Mmm, wow, so, so tender. Now you can come in here early in the morning I'll let you in the kitchen so that you can see how they cook it. You need to come in 8.30, 9 o'clock. Anytime after that, up to 10, then they won't be cooking it, but they're open here until 3 p.m. This is beef. Lombok is known for great beef because it's a rural area. You're gonna get a lot of free range organic cattle. You'll see them out in the fields. A little bit fatty, a lot of meat on it, very tender, and then Mmm, the broth is perfect. It's like gingery, garlicky. I put some of that sambal in it, so it's spicy. Mmm, you can have this for breakfast or you can have it for lunch. It is definitely one of the things that you want to eat when you're in Lombok. Mmm, so good. Mmm, that was so good. Unbelievably only 35,000 and then another 5,000 for the iced tea. Such a bargain, very light, which is great because now I want to check out a special satay here. Now there are lots of different satays from all over Indonesia, but this one I've heard was made for kings. Sweet and spicy satay. Now satay is synonymous with Indonesia. Every island, every village has its own version of satay and the island of Lombok is no different. There are numerous types of satay here and one of the most famous is satay rambiga. And we are having this at Warang Satay Rambiga Utama. It is a spot where you can sit at the table or you can sit let's say hand style. Now if you're Indonesian like Alan, you actually feel more comfortable eating let's say hand. Sometimes it's like this where it's just little cubicles where families sit and they eat 
or sometimes there's also like a small table. Now, this satay, the reason why it's so special is because in the Rambiga village, this was something only eaten by kings, but the royal family actually introduced it to the public. So it no longer became a royal food, it became a food for everyone. This is sweet and spicy. So in it, there is that fermented shrimp paste, brown sugar. There is a little bit of chili in it and some sweet soy sauce. I think a few other ingredients. Pretty sure there's probably garlic and ginger as well. Mm, definitely sweet. And then that heat starts building. Whoa, it really starts building. It's getting spicier and spicier. Mm, not too spicy at all, it's really good. So they marinate it and then they cook it over the charcoal. And that's where you get the smokiness, the traditional smokiness of Lombok. Oh, good. A basket of these, 25,000. This is minced beef. Very simple, but so delicious. Now the second type of skewer we're going to have, the second satay is called pusut. This is also very interesting. It has that Lombok beef, which we know is so good here, but it's minced beef with grated coconut. It also is supposed to be a little bit spicy sweet and it'll have that sweetness from the coconut. You can tell it's pusu because it comes in this fat bamboo skewer. Mmm, mmm, mm. whoa. This is so tasty. So the ground beef and the coconut, mmm. It's very fresh, not as spicy as the rambega. Mmm, so tender with that. It's just really, really tasty. Yum. That satay was so good, but really spicy. My lips were burning towards the end. I like spice, but you know, when you go to different cultures and they use different peppers, sometimes it's like, like Indian food is spicy for me, but Mexican is not. I got this lemon squash with lemon juice mixed with soda. I really loved that pusut. I want to learn how to make it. It looks pretty simple in that it's just grated coconut, uh, ground beef, and then some spices, but I've got to find out what those spices are. So if you know or you have a recipe, please leave a comment below and let me know what it is. Now, if you're only going to have one dish in Lombok, if you're going to only eat one traditional food from Lombok, it should be ayam talawang. This is a chicken dish that has a lot of history, but also is probably the most popular dish in Lombok. We're here and you can find it all over the streets. Lots of people are selling it, but we chose to come to Taliwang Kas Pa Udin. And that's because it was recommended by so many people. It opens up at 4.30 p.m. And already this place is packed. There are so many people here. I took a lot of video outside just to see how they cook it. They pre-cook it by frying it a little bit and then they put it in this marinade that's garlic, chilies, shrimp paste, and then they grill it to finish. So you have that spicy, smoky flavor. Now the story behind this is that back in the 1600s, the ruling clan of Bali and the ruling clan of Lombok were at war and they went to the village of Ramiga and they had an agreement for peace. And during that time, they had this dish. So not only is it known to be one of the best dishes, but also it has an interesting story to it. Now, when they brought it to me, I was like, oh my God, is this it? Like the chicken, it's so small. But that's what it's known for. It's a smaller dish. They ask you how many you want. They also serve it with rice and then this, which is terong beburu, which is uh, eggplant in a spicy sambal sauce. And that sauce, again, has that fermented shrimp, tomato, garlic. So common theme in a lot of Lombok foods. And interestingly, they gave a little bit of gulai, like a curry sauce, and some cucumber. But I just want to try this chicken on its own because it's supposed to be more tender, juicy, because it's smaller. All right, I'm gonna take a leg. So this is a smaller chicken. Oh, wow. Okay, this is amazing. It's so flavorful, tender. That marinade, it's not in the marinade long, but wow. Does Lombok have the best chicken in Indonesia? 
I think so. Wow. Mm. We're gonna need to get another one of these because Alan is gonna want to eat one on his own. It's not too spicy at all. I think it might be where you add a little bit of this gulai. Mm. Now, this is a hands-only restaurant. I don't see any spoons, forks. I keep trying to remember to only eat with my right hand and I forgot to order rice. So it's a little bit harder, but get into this eggplant. Mmm, eggplant is really, really good. This place is delicious. I am Tala Wong. You have to try it when you come to Lombok. Now, Alan compared this chicken to uh, chicken mandang in West Sumatra. I think that's a really great analogy. It definitely has that spicy, full of flavor. Chicken, definitely not boring. Unfortunately today, I didn't get to eat all of the things that I wanted to, all of the Lombok food, but I had a list of 16 things, so I knew I wasn't going to get to all of them today. Fortunately, I am not leaving the island. We are staying on Lombok. Tomorrow we are heading down south to check out some beaches, more traditional food. So if you love travel and food, please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah. All right, so as I was leaving, I noticed the guys were picking these off of these branches and leaves, and I was looking at them and I asked Alan what they were. He said, it looks like coffee, but it's not quite, they're smaller. And so they saw me talking about it, and then they asked if I wanted to try one, and then actually gave me these because they're so delicious. So they are small, they're smaller than coffee, they kind of taste like grape. Like, the inside seed is like grape, and also like an apple-y flavor, but they're called buni. You know what this is in English, please let me know, but what a nice way to end the day. Yeah. Join my Patreon community for more behind the scenes and exclusive content you won't find elsewhere. You can also find me on Instagram and be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All of these things make my day. Thank you so much for your support.